Okay, I want to show you how to use algebra tiles to help us take an expression which currently is in factored form. Remember that factored form is the product of factors. So we have this factor here, 2x plus 3, times x plus 2. And we want to take it from factored form and move it to expanded form. All right, let's look at how to do this. In algebra tiles, we have these channels on the left and bottom. In those channels, we're going to put our expression factors. And that's going to create a rectangle shape in the middle that we'll fill in for our expanded form. So let's take a look at 2x plus 3. In this expression, we have two x's. So we go over to the x button here, and we click it twice, because we're going to use two x's. We're going to put 2x plus 3 in this side channel here, so that's two x's. We now need 3, so we'll use 3 1 squares and put them in the same channel right here. All right, now our other factored form expression, x plus 2, will go in this bottom channel. So we need 1x and we need 2 1s. Okay, so the Algebra Tiles website has created a rectangular space that if we fill will be our expanded form. So we know that x times x gives us x squared, so that's going to fit right there. This x times x is also going to be another x squared right there. Okay. Now we have an x bar here and we have a 1 right there so that will be filled in with an x rectangle. The 1 side fits next to the 1 and the x side fits next to the x squared and you can see that we need two more of those to finish filling that all the way in. Okay, So then on this side here, our missing section, we're going to need to fill in an x by a 1. So that's going to be an x bar like this. It's going to take a few more of these to fill in. And then up in this last corner, we have 1, 1, 1, 1. They're all 1 by 1s. And maybe you can figure out how many single boxes I'm going to need. They all fit because they're all one by one size. Okay, so we have filled in our rectangle with all of our shapes and now we can figure out how many we have. Okay, so we'll start with our x squared. How many of them do we use? One right here and one right here. So we can write 2x squared. Okay, so that takes care of our 2x squared. How many x's do we use in our rectangle here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're adding 7x. And finally, one, two, three, four, five, six ones. And there is our expanded form. We can also use algebra tiles to start with an expression in expanded form and figure out what the factored form might be. And to do this, instead of starting with pieces in the channel, we're going to start by making the rectangle in the middle and figuring out what matches the sides on the channels. So let's take a look at this expression in expanded form x squared plus 6x plus 8. So on our algebra tiles we're going to click 1x squared and we're going to start with that one right in the lower left hand corner right there. 
Now we need six X's. And we are also going to need eight ones. Alright, so let's spread them out a little bit. Um, what basically happens is the X's have to match with the X squared like this. And you want to build them um, on both sides of the X squared so that you leave some space in the upper right hand corner for the ones. Okay, so if I do this first, just try it out. I have three X's on top of the X squared and three X's on the right hand side. I can start filling in the gap left over with my green squares. And remember, I have eight of them, so it looks like I might have to make a change here because I'm going to be short one green square. Okay, because I can't make the entire rectangle, I'm going to have to come up with a new way of arranging the pieces. So I'm going to take one of my X's and switch it and put it right there. And now my green squares fit and make a rectangle. So again, I use one X squared, six X's, and eight ones. So that represents my expression in expanded form. Now let's try to fill in the channels to match the sides of our rectangle and figure out what our factored form is. So on the left hand channel I need a piece that matches the x squared side. Remember the x squared is x times x so if I use an x piece right here that's going to match up. And now the rest of these are just ones because the side, the short side of an X rectangle is a length of one. So I'm going to need four to fit this side. On the bottom channel I'm going to do the same thing. I start out with an X right here and then two ones will complete our channel. So we created the rectangle in the middle from our expanded form expression. The factors are going to be the length and the width of our entire rectangle which we filled in in the channels. So let's write this algebraically. In my left channel here, which we'll call our width, we have x plus 4 my bottom channel our length is x plus 2 length times width equals area so x plus 4 times x plus 2 equals x squared plus 6x plus 8.